We begin this week with what could be the future for sustainable farming on Earth and in space. Paris and Los Angeles-based biotech company Interstellar Lab designed the Biopod. The company's founder says Biopod allows farmers to localize the production of common crops that would otherwise require global supply chains and therefore reduce greenhouse gases that come with long journeys. Growing a vanilla, for instance, here, then this is when the Biopod makes a lot of sense. And so it reduced the CO2 impact of making the travel of the ingredients from one country to the other. Uh, we optimize the consumption of water. Uh, so compared to traditional agriculture, it's like 99% of the water is recycled and reused. Uh, we take CO2 from the atmosphere to enrich the level of, uh, of CO2 inside the bubble. By stacking the units, Interstellar Lab says it can reduce the footprint for growers while providing a more efficient space to grow crops in units that go up instead of out. In collaboration with NASA, a space-based version of Biopod is scheduled for use on the moon by 2027. The Reuters news agency reporting Interstellar Lab founder Barbara Balvisi will attend the COP28 climate conference to raise interest and money for the project. When commercial production begins, each unit will sell for $350,000. In other news, the dust and fragments in these still images come from the four and a half billion year old asteroid Bennu. NASA's OSIRIS-REx spacecraft collected the samples in October 2020. After a journey of more than seven years, it landed at the Utah Test and Training Range military facility. Researchers say they found water trapped in the fragment, which may be a clue as to how water came to Earth. When the Earth formed, it probably formed really, really hot, and uh, and most of the water would have evaporated. So uh, it could be that the Earth got its water because it was pummeled by asteroids like Bennu that provided the this uh, water to the Earth's surface. Russell added that Bennu is perhaps the most hazardous threat to Earth in our solar system, so part of the research is to better understand its orbit and composition if scientists ever had to find a way to deflect it. Regardless, Russell says it will take months and years to unlock the many questions questions scientists have about this ancient asteroid. Finally this week, if you've ever had a rough day at the office, try losing your tool bag in Earth's orbit outside the International Space Station. That's what happened in early November when NASA astronauts Jasmine Mogbelli and Laurel O'Hara lost theirs. The bag was visible with just binoculars and joined a long list of space junk orbiting our planet. Arash Arbasadi, VOA News. To see if you can get your eyes on Kulak Bagdi because he. Uh...